this is Captain Chaudhary. I was speaking to you about Casualty Investigation Code. This is the third video uh, where I'm going to talk about formal investigation. So what does Section 361 of Merchant Shipping Act 1958 says? It says that judicial magistrate or first class, specially empowered in this respect, and metropolitan magistrate will have jurisdiction in respect of formal investigation conducted in respect of shipping casualties shipping casualties under this part in section 372 it states that judicial magistrate of the first class or metropolitan magistrate may upon the application of owner of any ship or his agent or of the consignee of the ship or of any certificated officer or of one third or more of the crew if satisfied that it is necessary remove the master of any ship and thereafter appoint a new master so you can see a lot of importance and thrust is given to the cargo owner the consignee of the ship so he has a say in respect of uh, removal of the master and replacing him with a new master in every case in which a charge arises against any master mate or engineer regarding the incompetency or misconduct or of a wrongful act or default causing shipping casualty in the course of an investigation yes i repeat in the course of an investigation the court shall before the commencement of the inquiry furnish to him a statement of the case upon which the inquiry has been directed the court is empowered to inquire into any such charge if the central government believes that the charges of incompetency or misconduct or of a wrongful act or default causing shipping casualty against any master, mate or engineer can be applied other than in course of navigation, may transmit a statement of the case to any court having jurisdiction and may direct that the court to make an inquiry into that charge. This being in any case where COC was obtained under this act or holder had foreign certificate but incompetency or misconduct occurred on Indian ship. Such statement will be transmitted to the master mate engineer before the commencement of the inquiry. Under section 370 court cancels suspends certificates as follows number one law stranding or abandonment of or damage to any ship or loss of life has been caused by the wrongful act or default of such master mate or engineer number two master mate or engineer if the court finds that he is incompetent or has been guilty of any gross act of drunkenness tyranny or other misconduct number three or in a case of collision has failed regarding his responsibilities regarding saving lives or communication etc now after the formal investigation if the case does not involve cancellation or suspension of the certificate then court will not deliver its statement or decision in open court what the court will do is court will give a copy of the report to the concerned parties and send the report to the government in duplicate whereas if there is a decision in respect of cancellation or suspension of the certificate court will uh, deliver its decision in open court now in case the court decides that the certificate has to be degraded or the uh, uh, officer or engineer involved has to be given a lower certificate then they will convey uh, this information to the DG shipping DG shipping through the principal officer will get this executed now section 336 of merchant shipping act 1958 is in respect of SSS a court making formal investigation shall have at least two assessors and not more than four in the normal uh, investigation at least one person will be acquainted or familiar with maritime affairs whereas if the case involves the cancellation or suspension of the certificates at least two or two of the assessors rather two of the assessors will have experience in a merchant service like in certain situations the court can use the powers of the criminal court like let's uh, say there is a case that a person under this act you know commits an offense in India 
right and that offense is punishable by the rules or laws which are prevailing in india the court can use all its power to get the person arrested and hold him under the bail well there are certain other channels under which the master officer or engineer may be personally convicted like for example losing a certificate or certificate getting cancelled or suspended these are the situations like which are not actually desired by casualty investigation court but under chapter 12 where we are complying with the requirement of casualty investigation code the officers can also get convicted now let's talk about marine board what is marine board so marine board deals with the cases in foreign country not in india so in a foreign country when a complaint is made to the counselor officer or a senior naval officer from an indian navy ship which might be there by the master or any other member of the crew then a marine board is convened so marine board consists of a person who's convening the marine board and this person the chairperson of the marine board he appoints two other persons who are conversant with mercantile or marine affairs right the marine board which can be convened in a foreign country may conduct investigation on uh, any of the five grounds that is stated number 1 the complaint is made by master or any member of the crew of an indian ship requiring immediate investigation number 2 the interest of owner of the indian ship or the owner of the cargo is involved number 3 an allegation of incompetency or misconduct against the master or any of the officers is there number 4 indian ship is lost abandoned or stranded nearby number 5 is any loss of life or any serious injury has occurred to any person powers of marine board are listed under section 376 thus if the safety of indian ship or her cargo or crew or the interest of owner of an indian ship or of the owner of the cargo thereof requires it the master can be replaced that means the master can be removed and another appropriate master can be brought on board so in the second part it says that if the marine board is of the opinion that any master or officer of an indian ship is incompetent or has been guilty of any act of misconduct or in case of collision has failed to render assistance and the exchange of information etc or the loss abandonment or stranding of or serious damage to any ship or loss of life or serious injury to any person has been caused by the wrongful act or default of any master or officer marine board can suspend the certificate of that master or ship's officer for a stated period the other powers being the discharge of a seaman from any indian ship and order the wages or any part to be forfeited decide any question as to wages fines or forfeitures direct that any or all of the cost of the maintenance of a seaman or apprentice while in prison outside india shall be paid out of and deducted from the wages order the cost of proceedings to be paid by any of the parties thereto order a survey to be made of any indian ship which is the subject of investigation as provided in section 377 upon any investigation or inquiry made by a legislative authority in any country outside india it is not the court of india it is not the marine board it is the legislative authority in a foreign country outside india if it is reported that the master mate or engineer is incompetent or has been guilty of any gross act of misconduct drunkenness or tyranny or in a case of collision has failed to render assistance or to give required information or that the loss stranding abandonment or damage to any ship or loss of life has been caused by the wrongful act or default or if the master mate or engineer is proved to have been convicted of any offense under this act or of any non bailable offence committed under any other law for the time being in force in india or of 
an offence committed outside India, which if committed in India would be non-bailable offence. The central government may cancel or suspend the certificate. It is not that the central government cannot directly cancel or suspend the certificate. It is not that the central government has to initially get the investigation done under marine board or foreign legislative body or a court in India. Central government can directly cancel the certificate also. So let us look at the regulations or the channels under which the central government can directly cancel the certificates. Section 381 states that notwithstanding anything contained in the act, the central government may at any time without any formal investigation or inquiry cancel or suspend any certificate granted by it under the act other than a certificate granted to a master mate or engineer if it is of opinion that the holder is or has become unfit to act in the grade for which the certificate was granted to him so naturally it does not talk about certificate of competency as such but the other certificate certificates other than certificate of competency section 85 Power to cancel or suspend the certificate obtained on false or erroneous information. If it appears to the central government that the holder of a certificate granted under this act has obtained it on false or erroneous information, it may cancel or suspend such certificate. Now section 377 is the report by a legislative body abroad to central government. Officers reported guilty convicted of offense under this act or non available offenses you know uh, the central government may cancel or suspend the certificate also the certificate of competency may be cancelled or suspended for any specified period if the person contravenes the provisions of section 87 b 1 and 2 which is the mandatory requirement to serve on indian or government ships the certificate will not be cancelled or suspended unless an opportunity uh, is given to the person concerned to prove innocent and why the certificate should not be cancelled. An opportunity should be given to the person concerned. Then there is this MS rule in respect of cancellation or suspension of the certificate. It says that the uh, certificate will not be cancelled or suspended unless the matter is inquired by a chief examiner or another person who's appointed in this respect this person whose certificate is cancelled or suspended within 30 days of receiving the order can appeal to the dg shipping and once the dg shipping has given the decision that decision will be final now as provided in section 371 of merchant shipping act where it appears to the court that the decision in respect of cancellation or suspension of the certificate that was given in section 370 is not justified the court may order a censure what is censure censure is actually uh, a declaration by the court uh, say in open court or in front of uh, specified people or certain people or in general it is just declared condemning the act of the officer concerned without cancelling the certificate without suspending the certificate so censure is a process whereby the person is kind of verbally warned so that is permitted by section 371 where it is justified or where they feel where the court feels that the decision that is given by 370 is not justified now central government has got a very important power that is revoking or shortening or lengthening the sentence that is given by the court marine board etc so uh, there are several sections or subsections like uh, 370 376 1 b 377 1 and 1 a these are the sections under which like uh, where they have found that the accident was caused because of the fault default of the master say in respect of collision stranding grounding or loss of life because of wrongful act of the master the central government has got power to revoke these sentences like uh, where the marine board has caused suspension of a certificate the central government has got power to cancel that certificate the revoking uh, may not be possible in certain cases for example uh, in a situation where a master is removed keeping the safety in mind of the ship owner or the cargo interest etc if the master is removed 
uh, then uh, that particular uh, act cannot be revoked. At the same time, uh, if the certificate is cancelled uh, on account of section 85 which is obtaining the certificate on erroneous information, central government has got exclusive power to cancel the certificate. Similarly, if an Indian officer does not serve on Indian or government ships as required by 87 A and B and if thus the certificate is cancelled or suspended, then that is the exclusive power once again of central government. So in all these sections that is uh, uh, 85, 87 A, 87 B and uh, earlier we talked about section 381, the central government can straight away cancel the certificate or suspend the certificate. Court's intervention is not necessary.